Hi, my name is Clarissa Sabrina Arlinghaus and I'm going to present you a short paper with the title Constant Companion, How Frequent Phone Use and Interpersonal Communication are Related to Users Emotional Praise. Our study is based on different theories. Users and gratification is relevant for our research since mobile phone use, especially social media use, is rewarding. Mood management plays a role because mobile phones are used to regulate emotions. Since mobile phones are used 40 times per day on average, the mere exposure effect is also considered. Moreover, hedonic content can promote habitual use so that knowledge about habits is also part of our theoretical backing due to the rising hedonic potential of mobile phones. We assume that the frequency of mobile phone use is positively related to positive emotions and negatively related to negative emotions. We also want to find out if these relations still exist when we control for communicative phone use because interpersonal communication seems to be key for users and gratification and mood management. For that we conducted a German online survey with 836 participants aged between 14 and 76. We asked participants how often they use their phone during four time slots of six hours each to acknowledge the finding that smartphone use is spread equally across the day. To obtain the amount of interpersonal communication, we used the multi-state slider adjustable from 0 to 100. For positive and negative emotions, we used parts of the MeQ questionnaire. The data was analyzed with a MANOVA test of intersubjects effects and post hoc test to spot potential differences between the frequency groups. H1 and H2 were checked with Pearson's correlation, whereas we calculated partial correlations for H3 and H4. Here you can see the descriptive values considering all daily users. Our participants use their phone almost every hour in a rather communicative way. Their positive emotions are more pronounced than their negative ones, which is a significant difference. This figure shows participants' interpersonal communication and emotional appraisals separated by frequency groups. The MANOVA found significant differences. However, tests of intersubject effects were only significant for positive and negative emotions, but not for communicative phone use. The game's whole test only found significant differences for positive emotions. More details about the group differences are presented in our paper. We only found significant relations for the hypothesis concerning positive emotions. For negative emotions, no relation was found. In both cases, the exclusion of communicative phone use led to almost no differences in terms of the values. So, more frequent users may appreciate their phone to a higher degree, but do not receive fewer negative feelings from it. According to Hertzberg's two-factor theory applied to user experience, positive emotions indicate a good user experience, whereas negative emotions are related to usability. Therefore, our results show that bad usability cannot be objectively fixed by frequent interaction. Moreover, our participants used their phone for less communicative purposes than we expected considering prior research. Interpersonal communication seemed to play a minor role for emotional appraisal. A high frequency of use may enhance positive emotions no matter what the product is used for, which indicates a good mood management. To conclude, a lack of usability cannot be compensated by frequent use and is neither limited to nor compensable with communicative features. Thank you for your attention.